Hello and welcome to the video. This is a follow-up video to one I did a little while ago talking about the new Nomad modules from Radio Master. These are the first Gemini X stuff that I've had in here. Gemini X is the ability to transmit and receive on two antennas simultaneously, but also you can use both 2.4 and 900 megahertz. Now there were some fantastic questions on that original video, so I thought I would get those together and put them together so I'm sure if someone's asking the question lots of other people who had the same thought but just didn't get around to typing it in. Now I need to say a very big thank you to Ben over at Radio Master who has just checked that these are all right and helped me get the answers to this as well. Gemini X is relatively new and it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea but for those people who are looking for a joint connection to their model over two different frequencies potentially then it's going to be right up their street. It's kind of the open source version of that Free Sky TD system that's been kicking around for a little while. So the first question is from Brian Marr 8850, and Brian was asking, can it work with other Express LRS receivers? Well, the good news is, yes, you can. You can use any 2.4 gig or 900 megahertz Express LRS receivers with it as well. You've got to choose the appropriate packet rate on your transmitter, via the lower script, of course, to suit the receiver that you intend to use on that particular model. There is a compatibility chart on the product page of the Nomad stuff on the Radio Master site, so check that out to make sure you select the right one. Next one was less of a question, more of a comment from WTF Mimshag. I think that's how you would say that. Some of these you have to be very careful when you're saying it out. You read it and then you say it out and you realise there's a slightly dodgy word in it. However, they were talking about the fact that they were testing the Mavlink stuff at the moment. Uh, stay tuned, there will be a video on the MLRS stuff coming to the channel soon and how it's different from the Mavlink stuff that's in the Express LRS system. Uh, the, he is using the Wi-Fi stuff in the backpack to share the Mavlink telemetry to a ground station, something like Mission Planner. Now this isn't unique to the Gemini X modules. Mavlink telemetry data via Wi-Fi is available on any module or radio that has the Express LRS backpack built in. Interestingly, all of the Radio Master modules and radios do contain a backpack, so this is a feature that anyone can do if they're using the Radio Master stuff. So it's not just specific to the Gemini X stuff, but a really interesting comment. Thank you, WTF, for popping that one in. Next question then was from this gentleman here. I'm not even sure how you would say that. Uh, I'm not even going to completely destroy that name. Apologies in advance. We're talking about it's a great technology for large airplanes, both gasoline and turbine powered. I think that's a perfect place for something like this however he was asking or she was asking about pwm receivers um are they going to make them it sounds like it's possibility for the future although nothing is planned by radio master yet however i'm sure if the system takes off then we're going to see pwm stuff start to come out don't forget you can also share pwm bits and pieces via other devices like flight controllers and stuff too Next question was a great one. Uh, this was Ched999 UK. Looks great, but what frequencies are the antennas tuned to? 2.4 or 868? Well, actually, the exciting thing is, is the antennas are actually tuned for both. Now, these are what's called dual band antennas, and they're not just a piece of wire. There's a little bit of electronics in here that will block one frequency, but allow the other frequency through effectively changing the length of the antenna that's actually within the plastic housing. So you can decide whether you want 900 or you, whether you want 2.4 or combinations and the antennas will just cope with it. However, if you're going to swap these antennas to be something else, then you do make sure that you are using an appropriate antenna for the frequency that you want to use. Next question then is about 150 hertz dual band. Uh, don't have the 16 channels, question mark? You're absolutely right. In X150 mode, it supports hybrid or wide switch mode, which is up to 12 channels. And X100 supports full mode, which is eight channels, 12 channels mix, or 16 channels uh, rate mode, but that starts to do some of the more funky stuff where it's sent every other time. So you can kind of get 16 channels, but only on the X100 mode at the moment. A couple of extra questions that I got in here, which were from lots of different people 
via different things, which was what's the best receiver for range and reliability with the Nomad module. Well, to make, take advantage of all the Gemini crossband stuff, which is what the X stands for in the Gemini X, you really need the DBR4 from Radio Master at the moment. Otherwise, it's using another Express LRS 2.4 gig or 900 megahertz only receiver, and you'll get similar performance with those receivers if you were using just a single frequency module. The first of the last couple of questions is about telemetry. I had a couple of people asking me about telemetry range. Uh, when would it stop? How many miles? Um, it really depends on the environment on the model, how you've routed the antennas, what your setup is, what the local RF noise is. It's really tricky. Uh, I know Radio Master in particular try not to publish numbers on range as people fail to reach it and then they blame Radio Master when that doesn't happen. However, there is a page on the Express LRS stuff that is all of the current records for the different power levels. So go and check that out and keep an eye on it. Last question was one that I think lots of people had in their minds. Can it transmit on both 2.4 and 900 on both antennas at the same time when using something like the DBR4 that we mentioned before? The DBR4 has two 2.4 gig and two 900 megahertz antennas. That's why it looks so unusual. Gemini crossband, Gen X, is capable of sending packets on both bands simultaneously. So what you can have is you can have a 900 meg connection and a 2.4 meg connection at the same time. You have diversity for each of those on the receiver. One antenna on your radio is sending 2.4, the other antenna is sending 900, giving you the best possible chance of actually getting the information to the model, but also getting your telemetry back. So hopefully that's been useful for those of you that had a couple of questions and it's cleared up some of the stuff. Gemini X or Gemini crossband isn't going to be needed by everybody unless you are flying in some pretty extreme conditions. But for those of you that are or wanted an open source alternative to something like the FreeSky TD system, then Gemini X is what you want. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payment 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.